Hello guys, Jordan here from Tools for Sparks and how I got some amazing tools for you today. Arm egg, hole source, accelerate and pro step. These drill bits are unbelievable and I want to show you exactly why I just got this massive haul of them from Alex in Ali Pali. I was there a couple of weeks ago and I picked up these from the Alex stand. Even though I already had some on the van, I just wanted to expand my collection because these are absolutely amazing little drill bits and they have really become part of my day-to-day -to -day toolkit that I use pretty much uh, every single day as an electrician. So I'm going to give these a run for their money today. Uh, probably not this one, but the hole source, I'm going to really give them a run for run for their money. I've got this metal buck back, so I'm gonna, back box. <laughs> I'm going to cut a few chunks out of this and show you how they work. And as always, there'll be a link in the description where you can find yourself some of these for a great price and add them to your toolkit too, if you like the look of them. So first of all, I'm going to talk you through the Accelerate Hole Saw three-piece set. Um, and this is basically the day-to-day, -day, most commonly used uh, set of hole saws. So you've got your 20 mil here, you've got your 25 mil, and you've got your 32 mil. So when it comes to like consumer units, holes in consumer units for armored glands, compression glands, things like that, these are pretty much the most commonly used ones. 20 mil, I would say, is my most commonly used, but I do use 25 fairly regularly as well for larger armored cables. And the um, 32 mil comes in handy as well. But I'm just gonna add to this, this extra one which I got, which is a 40 mil. And the reason for that is sometimes you use a mains tails gland, like one of those whisker tails gland, and it does have a 40 mil hole is required for that unless you use a reducer. So this one is really handy every so often for when you need to drill a 40 mil hole. So I'll crack this one open as well, and then we'll give them all a run for their money. I'll just talk you through some of the features of these first. So I'll take the big one because it's easier to see. Um, straight away, what do you notice about these? Quite small teeth. They're bezeled out here, which means that you can't go all the way through the hole. So it will drill it out and then it'll, it'll stop, which is really handy because there's nothing worse than going all the way through and then it rattling around and struggling to get it back out again. So that's a great little feature. You've got this really nice sharp pilot bit, which will drill your center hole for you. And then you've got this spring. And the idea behind the spring is that once you've drilled the, um, the hole out, your metal knockout will actually push off instead of getting stuck inside this and trying to leave it out for ages it just pops straight out as soon as it's drilled through and it's got a normal uh, your normal size fitting on this to connect it into your drill but it's also got the option for like the push fit type connection so if you've got an extension bit for example like a, an arm egg extension bit it will just click into that so again that's a really nice useful feature so I'll start off with using the 20 mil and we'll just cut a hole out of this back box using the 20 mil hole cutter. I've got my Makita drill here. So I'm just gonna pop that in. Make sure it's on the right setting. So it's on the drill setting, slow speed. And what I'm gonna do is just start with doing one here. Boom, that's it. Now can you see there is literally no 
knockout there. The knockout has just come here. Here, that's a bit hot. <laughs> uh, so great, and it leaves a really nice smooth hole. No burrs or anything like that. Now, I've just done it on the slow setting, but actually I normally do it on the fast setting and it works absolutely fine. So I'll put it on the fast setting and I'll do another one. Uh, I'll do one in the middle here. Actually, you know what? Let's just do one completely off to one side, for example. Uh, let's do one there. super quick and again it doesn't keep the metal knockout it just pops straight through which means you don't have to spend ages levering a metal knockout out from the center of your drill it just saves time these are super quick that's why they're called accelerate and they really do make a really nice finish um, now the principle is the same with all of them so I can go and show you the big one now. And we can just do a hole here. Super quick, super easy. There you go. Um, absolutely amazing bits of kit these so sharp and they're good to use over and over again so now if I show you a 25 now so let's do a 25 here uh, can end up like just running out of places to drill but uh, let's see let's do a 25 here there you go again let's pop the knockout out of the side but you get the point it's opened that up really nice and smooth perfectly smooth cut and uh, no you don't even need to file it almost. It's so smooth the way it cuts. It's just absolutely amazing. Now, just for way of comparison, to think about what you might usually use at these. I usually used to use the Starret, just the standard 20 mil hole cutters, quite long. And they have really big, thick teeth. And the teeth would just like catch all the time. The pilot bit was really thick. And so it took ages to get the pilot hole in and the finish was not nice so you ended up having to file it down loads with these you don't have to do any of that it's just super quick and it creates a really nice finish right from the start and i can show you again the you know, 32 mil um no actually i'm not going to show you 32 mil because i've kind of run out of holes and i want to show you the step drill as well before i um before i continue so that's the accelerate um they are advertised as the fastest way to drill sheet steel and i'm only showing you with thin sheet steel now but you can drill thick see up to 1.6 mil thick so mild steel stainless steel and aluminium you can drill sheets up to 1.6 mil thick. And the reason they call it accelerate with a percent either side is because they've got 8% cobalt in them and that makes them super hard. So that's the key behind how um, durable and how strong these are is the cobalt that they've got in them. Now they're not cheap, but they last a long time and they do a great job over and over and over again. So they're a really good investment for your toolkit in my opinion. Now the pro step, this is something that I've been meaning to get for a while. It's a step drill and I'll show you what the reasoning is behind this. So it says the ultimate in consistently accurate holes for conduit and trunking. It goes from uh, five mil to 35 mil. 
and basically the idea is that you can use it to say open up a hole from 20 mil to 25 mil or you can make a hole in trunking that is anywhere up to 35 mil you've got these steps on so let me see if i can show you the various uh, measurements the measurements are are on here so it starts at 5 mil 7.5 10 13 16 19 21 23 26 29 31 33 all the way up to 35 and the idea is then that you can just enlarge the hole until you get it to the size that you want so i'll just give you a little demo of this so you can see how it works uh, let's take let's take this little hole here. I should have a vice really to do this, so um, I'm just going to hold it down on here, and I'm going to put a bit of wood underneath it just to stop drill, stop myself from chance of drilling my desk. Um, <laughs> So, see that there? So that is now up to 13. So that's a 13 mil hole. And then if I want to, I can just continue. And that's now 16, I believe. Yeah. and so on and it just will enlarge and enlarge until you get to the size that you need it's really handy if for example you've got a 20 mil hole that you actually need to enlarge to a 25 mil uh, rather than trying to get your 25 mil hole cutter in there and like sort of angle it to try and open it up to the right size you just use this step drill and it will open it up to the exact size that you need. You know, you can go one mil above, obviously go up to 26 or something. Uh, and that's why they're slightly numbered slightly above what you might actually require. But it just enables you to get the exact size hole that you need for the job with one hole cutter, which is really handy. So if you've got 25, you can go up to 32 or if you've got 20 mil hole, you can enlarge it up to 32 if you want so you can you know adapt things that you might not otherwise be able to adapt so these um these armeg drill bits i've been using armeg bits for a while now and as i said i picked these up from alex um and i'll leave a link in the description where you can buy them from i use the armeg wood bits as well the wood beaver bits which are really really good um, I also have used these before. This is just a, three, a freebie that they chucked in for me. It's a STS Plus hammer drill bit, 5.5mm. And, and the idea behind these is that you can pretty much drill anything with them. Um, so you can drill masonry, concrete, wood, whatever you might want to drill. You can drill it with these. Um, and, and they're just very sharp. And they give you a nice smooth... Uh, hole every time so these are quite handy as well just arm egg quality that's what i would say is the arm egg quality is excellent i haven't found any other drill bits that meet their standard of quality so far and that's why i just go for arm egg every time now as i say i use the wood beaver bits they're amazing for drilling for joists and stuff like that and now i've discovered these for metal and they're definitely the kind of thing that you just need to have in your toolkit. And then they're there when you need them and they save you time and they give you a great finish. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, check out the links below where you can buy these from. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Share this video out with someone else who might enjoy tools. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel because we post videos here regularly about all the kinds of tools that electricians and other craftsmen might like to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Thanks for watching and have a great day.